Hey out there, it's Paul here from Musos and thanks for checking out this video. So today's lesson is on the heel toe technique. This is a technique that I use a lot and people ask me about it all the time about how I do it and whether I can do a video on it. So here it is. So I mostly use it in like a double kick sort of scenario. So we'll be focusing mainly on that, but it can be just used with one foot. So if you're like me and you struggle to get to that next level with your double kick speed, this video will help you out a lot. So I kind of like to do this technique with no shoes on and I like to play in general with no shoes on, but it can be done with shoes. All right, so you grab the sheet music for this one guys and let's get straight into it. All right, so with the heel toe method, what we want to do is we kind of want to start in the toe position. And then we're gonna drop our heel down to get the first hit, and then we're gonna go back up to the toe position. I would suggest maybe doing this on the floor as well and getting used to this ankle movement. Now it's gonna feel a little bit weird at the start, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. All right, so once you've got the right foot, you wanna jump over obviously to the left foot. Try to make each hit as even as you possibly can. All right, so just a quick tip on the settings for your pedals. What you wanna to try to do is try to get them fairly tight so you got that response there. So having your board slightly higher, i found works. It works for me anyway. So play around with this for a while and when you're ready, we're gonna add some hi-hats in. use eighth notes or quarter notes on the hats for this, either one will work. Now we've got the fundamental sort of technique down, what we want to do is we want to apply it now. Now one way that I like to apply this is by using a pretty basic steady double kick beat and then add some doubles in as we go. The reason why I try to do this is so I can focus on one foot at a time and making sure it's nice and even and each note is powerful. So we're going to add in one double and then we're going to add in two doubles and so forth. Try to focus on just getting the right foot nice and even with this double. So even just by doing this, we've got some pretty cool patterns going on here. All right, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna do the left foot now, and this is always a little bit of a pain in the ass. But like before, we're gonna add one, then two, and then we're gonna go all the way up to adding four doubles in there. Again, these grooves just by themselves sound pretty good. All right, I've chucked one of my favorite patterns in here. I think I've called it like Paul's ultimate groove or something like that, I don't know. Basically what it is is that we're gonna be practicing what we just did, but in one exercise. So doing a right leg and doing a left leg as well. I've heard this actually played in quite a few songs over the years as well, so it's a good one to know. Alright, so what we're going to 
gonna do now is we're gonna add in both feet to this double kick pattern. And this is gonna lay the foundation for us to have really solid, consistent double kick. We're gonna do short bursts first and make sure that they're really, really even. So we're gonna add in more and more until we're eventually just doing consistent 16th notes. So now we've got this running sort of double kick thing and we've got it fairly consistent. Now we're just gonna add different hands over the top. There are so many different ways you can play this, but I'm gonna run through a few of them for you. Remember to go for that awesome word, evenness. I love it. So we've got the idea now of doing running 16th notes. Now obviously it's gonna take a while to get them really, really even, but you've got the idea. So now what we can do is we can start breaking up some patterns. All right, so the next exercise is all about just keeping those continuous feet going and adding in doubles with your right and your left and both. Last one is a little bit trickier and this one's kind of like a broken up pattern where we're just going to add in the doubles every now and then without the consistent feet underneath. So that's the heel toe technique. Not too hard, it can be a little bit weird to start with, but you can do some crazy stuff on the drums with this. So we're all done, so thank you very much for your time. So go on to Musos, check out more video lessons, more free lessons, subscribe to this channel and all that, but thanks for your time. We're gonna, you can be, and what's his name? Kobe, no, Co, I can't remember, Kobus. Just a quick tip, just a quick tip, yeah. Just a quick tip for the, uh, so just a quick tip on the set. All right, so just a quick tip on the tension and the settings for your uh, pedals. So just a quick word on the old tension settings. A quick tip for your pedals on the double kick tech. Ah, I love it.